today I'm getting married. And so are my friends. There's gonna be a rich wedding, a middle class wedding, and a poor wedding. And whichever wedding the guests have more fun at wins. That's right guys, we're all getting married! Yeah! So today, we're going to be judging the wedding. The dress, the venue, the food and the bouquet. Plus, every wedding has to have something blue themed. We're gonna judge the vows and the kiss. Let's see how well these brides do on their wedding day and comment down below who you want to win. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. And go ahead and check out PiperCutLive.com so you can get your tour tickets for next year so Ooh. we can meet you. We're going to Australia, baby. All right, it's gonna be an insane tour. It's gonna be one of the best tours ever, but let's get this going. We only have $10 to spend, so we're on a very tight budget. What do you think we should be doing? So I have a very special dress for you. Wait, you can't you? ruin it. It's my great grandma's. <gasps> That's kind of like so cute. All right, but what about your tux? I mean, the only way to go is great grandpa. Oh, Aww. but now I need like a bouquet. Like, what am I gonna do? We can save even more money by picking up flowers. Oh, such a good... Big brain. Big brain. Big brain. So it's my wedding day. I'm super nervous. I, I feel like a million bucks even though I only spent $10. Our venue is at uh, this mountain. But it doesn't matter because we are so happy and so in love and the love that we share and the vows that we share are just too good to be true. Your bouquet is literally falling apart. Like, the, like... Dude, it was free. Okay, okay, all right, look, wedding day, you think that you're gonna win this challenge. Confidence um, is most likely key. All right, well, let's uh, go get married. for the wedding of Piper and Love. Yeah. This is your chance to say your vows. I vow to protect you and to be with you through thick and through thin, through hot and cold, through up and down, <laughs> through east and west, through wet and dry. I vow to always love you even if you die before me. And I vow to always be right by your side even if you die before me. I've been waiting for this day my whole life. And I didn't believe at love at first sight until I saw you. I vow to be there for you through stress and loss, and... Love, do you take Piper as your wife? I do. Piper, do you take love as your husband? I do. By the power given to me by YouTube, I pronounce you husband and wife. You guys can kiss. Super good, very nice, very fresh, and um, I had a best, the best day of my life. Thank you. Looks everyone. like everyone's enjoying the tacos. So. Yes, and only ten dollars. Can you believe it? Let's go. So the wedding was. Uh, 
pretty good overall. I mean, the only thing is, it was absolutely freezing at the wedding. It and didn't it was, tell us to bring a jacket. No, or it anything. didn't. It was super windy, and it was also a really far walk. And you know, I'm in heels. You know, I would have worn sneakers if I was told that we were going to be going up a big hill. The first thing to judge is the dress. Jordan, what do you rate it? One through ten. I actually thought the dress was really pretty. I'm going to give it a solid seven. Honestly, me too. I love the little bow and you know the kind of like corset kind of vibe going on. I'm going to give it like an eight actually. Next is the venue. Sorry, but I'm going to have to go with like a two. Nothing about it was that great. I thought the venue definitely had a really pretty view, but it wasn't, there was nothing too special about it. Like I wouldn't have my wedding there. So I'm going to give it like a three or four. Okay, the bouquet. It was pretty. It was like one kind of little rose, you know. I'm going to give it like a solid five, kind of in between. I'll give it a four. I thought it could have been more, but it was a pretty flower. So the blue theme of the wedding was love suit. Being completely honest, I actually didn't even really realize that. I wish there would have been something a little bit more blue, if that makes sense, like more obvious. I definitely agree. I didn't even notice that his suit was blue. Like, a, like again, a five in between. I'll give it a four. The vows were funny. I definitely had a good chocolate at Lev's. Pipers were also very meaningful. I'm going to go with like an eight. The vows were definitely sweet and comical. I'll give it a solid seven. And you know, the food, no one can go wrong with Taco Bell. I mean, I'm gonna give it like an eight. I agree, eight. The kiss was, <laughs> not, you know, an, it wasn't a normal kiss for a wedding. Uh, maybe, maybe like a four. It was a little sloppy. <laughs> I, I felt like I needed to exit. I was like, I don't think I should yeah, be watching I this. felt like I was invading a little. Yeah, I was like, invading <laughs> something. <laughs> I'll give it a three. Okay, so I overall really liked Piper's wedding. I think it was the absolute best that she possibly could have done with $10, which is actually insane. A wedding for 10 bucks? Like, you can save so much money. Overall, an 8 out of 10. Overall, it was kind of okay. The outlook was gorgeous. They could have at least had chairs. That was, like, really cheap. The food, it tasted good, but come on, Taco Bell at a wedding. Overall experience of the wedding, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. All right, so we have the $1,000 budget for this wedding, and I think we can actually do pretty good at this. We yes. were engaged and then got married for something else before, so we're pros at this. We're, we're pros. pros. So I'm going to go on offer up right now and go shop for something beautiful, elegant, not too expensive, because I don't want to blow everything on a dress. Yeah, and I already have a suit idea. You do? Yeah, it's... It's gonna be Actually? the most affordable thing that you would ever think of. All right, guys, so that's gonna cut out some of your money, but also you have to get a bouquet. What kind of bouquet you get? I actually have a friend that can make one for us, so I'm gonna reach out to her right now. Nice. I just save money here. But you were supposed to look nice. This is our wedding day. I think it's pretty nice. Well, I don't. Well, it's a good thing you're not my wife yet. Oh, God. All right, are you guys ready? Sure, whatever. Thank you. Okay, guys, we're gathered today for Jordan and Emily's wedding. Are you guys ready to see your vows? I vow to always keep the landscaping clean in our house. I also vow... Um, to give us like 14 children to do all the chores <laughs> and I vow to protect you and to wear a better tuxedo next time. I vow for uh, you to get a haircut and to shave. For you, you don't vow for him. I vow for myself to vow to you. Oh. To get a haircut. Yeah. And shave. Alright, Jaden, do you want her to be your bride? Yes. Emily, do you want him to be your husband? Sure. Fair enough. I pronounce you husband and wife. Yay! Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> officially pulled up to the <laughs> spot. That's right. <laughs> so we have a dope pizza waiting for you guys, and now let's party. All right, so this is what we have to eat. A heart-shaped pizza. Is there going to be enough for all of us? You're going to make it work, all right? So 
So this wedding was really mediocre for me. It wasn't amazing, it wasn't absolutely horrible, but honestly, I just really wasn't feeling the passion that I was feeling I in the other one. I thought it was cute, but I have to agree, the connection was definitely a lot more there in the other one. The dress was absolutely stunning. Emily looked beautiful. I gotta give it like a nine out of 10. It was gorgeous, eight out of 10. I really liked the venue. I liked that it was at a church. It was just really beautiful, set the tone right, eight out of 10. The church was definitely really pretty. I'll have to give it like an eight or nine. The pizza was actually low-key some of like the best pizza I've ever had, not even lying, you guys. And it was in the shape of a heart. That was so sweet. Oh, but there wasn't really enough for everyone. That's kind of the only thing. That so was the only little 7.5 out of 10. I'll give it an eight. The bouquet was pretty. I would have liked a little bit more variety. It just kind of felt too plain for me. I'm gonna go with like a five. I thought the bouquet was really cute. I liked the white because it matched with the dress a lot. So I'm gonna give it a solid eight. So the something that was blue, if I'm being really honest, I didn't really see it because it was actually on the bottom of Emily's shoe. So I would have liked to have had something more blue because you really couldn't see it unless you looked for it. Four. I agree, but at the same time, I thought that, that was super creative and cute and I've never really seen that before. So I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10 for creativity. The vows, first off, I could really barely hear what was going on because of the cars. But from what I did hear, they were not good a three. They were not good at all. It was really, it was just an awful mess. I'm gonna give it a two. Uh, the kiss was a little awkward. Uh, I don't really have much to say about it except for the fact that he, it wasn't yeah. even like a real wedding kiss. It like wasn't a, a proper kiss, so. No. Oh. Okay, so overall it was pretty nice. I loved the church. It was very beautiful except for it was really close to the road. Felt like we could have easily gotten hit by a car. Out of 10 was an 8.5. So I think you guys already know that I obviously choose love over, you know, the atmosphere or whatever. And I just didn't feel like there was that much love with them. 5.5. All right, so for our wedding, we have a $10,000 budget. And so we're going big or going home. For my dress, I know what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna splurge a little bit in the dress department because I feel like that's what you really need for a key wedding. Oh, trust me, I got the perfect tux. I'm telling you, when you see this thing, you're going to love it. I'm I have to approve it first then. Let's make it a surprise. I think, surprise. I think that'd be better, yeah. So this is my dress, I spent a lot of money on it, and my bouquet is diamonds. I may have spent about half the budget on this outfit. And I'm really nervous to see what Cody's wearing because something tells me that he's wearing like something like Gucci and then we're gonna go over budget. <laughs> and Louis Vuitton. These rich people are crazy. Welcome everyone to Anna Kate's and Cody's wedding. All right guys, are you guys ready to say your vows? Anna Kate, I choose you. Through thick and thin, through the worst, through the best moments, you changed my life forever. And I just want you to know that I choose you through everything. I will be here even when you spend all of our money on a golden tux that you didn't need and through all of the issues. I think I needed the golden tux, but. Okay. Okay, Cody, are you ready to take Anna Kate as your wife? I do. Anna Kate, are you ready to take Cody as your husband? I do. All right, you guys can kiss. We're gonna be here at Mel's Diner and we have the whole restaurant to ourselves. Yeah! The whole restaurant? I love Mel's Diner. I've never had it, but this is exciting. Well, the 
venue was amazing, the restaurant was amazing, her dress was amazing, everything was overall amazing, but both of their personalities kind of sucked, so two out of ten. So the venue overall was really amazing, great lighting, great, you know, area, just a great vibe in general. I like it a lot, there's a lot of love in the air, and um, I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. So overall, the rich wedding, I think, actually went pretty good. You know, of course, there were some things that could have been better, but it was pretty good. Let's start with the dress. Oh my gosh, it was so it was beautiful. So Anna Kate looked really pretty. I loved it. Honestly, like a nine out of ten. All the dresses were good. Yeah, I think so too. I really like the mermaid fit on Anna Kate, though. She looked gorgeous. I'll give it a ten out of ten. I thought she looked Whoa, gorgeous. Ten out of ten. <laughs> oh, I really appreciated that this venue was inside, so we weren't was sitting so outside good. freezing. There were seats. Venue was great, super pretty. Everything was solid. 9.5 out of 10. I would have liked to see some more decorations though. I agree on the decoration thing. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. I thought it was really pretty as well. The food was so good. It was at Mel's Diner, which is one of my favorite places. It's so special to me. My first 10 out of 10, you guys. That was my first time trying Mel's Diner and it was so good. I'll give it a 10 out of 10 on the food. Definitely really good. The bouquet literally had diamonds in it. I don't know where they found it from, but it was so pretty. Really it's impressed. Just, I'll give it a 9 out of 10 on that factor as well. I have to be honest. They were really lacking the whole something blue thing. I would have really liked to have seen something more. It just felt very blah to me. Like, maybe yeah. like a three. That was like the worst part of the rich wedding. One out of ten, actually. There wasn't even a blue thing at all. The vibes were good. They weren't horrible. They weren't great. They were just kind of there. So I'm gonna yeah. give a five. I think like honestly, vows the first wedding was definitely the best. And I feel like that really goes to show about you don't need money for everything. A four out of ten. So you know they did the whole Hershey kiss thing for the kiss, which is kind of disappointing because was there was cute. no kiss. It was just kind of cheesy. Yeah, I mean it was chocolate. You know, everyone likes chocolate, yeah. but there was no kiss like a six. I'll give it like a seven because I think it's like a cute creative idea, but again, it's really cheesy. So. Guys, it's been a crazy long day. So many weddings. Obviously, I want all of us to win, but there's only one winner, which I hope is me. All right, ladies, all right. behind me is a vehicle, and if your groom walked out of the vehicle, you won the challenge, which all means right. you got the highest. Jordan, you better Love behind there. All right, you know here what? we go. I woke up today and Love was like, I hope I'm stepping out of that car. And I said, I hope you are too. The Let's love see car. your groom. Three, two, one. Well, I, I'll, you know, maybe chill out. What? Um, sorry to say, but you guys actually went over budget. What? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no! Your, get the gold your expensive oh, wedding no. was too shoot. expensive. You're disqualified. You are eliminated. Wait, wait, wait. Are so we? that means it's between you and me. So the actual winner of this challenge is. Despite the fact you guys didn't have the most expensive wedding nor the best budget, you still made we the still win. Make sure you guys like, like this video, subscribe, and, and turn, turn on those post, post notifications. notifications. Turn on those post notifications. We love you so much, and we can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.